now we've uh, we've racked the balls for eight ball. Now the main thing in eight ball is the eight ball's got to be in the middle, and you need uh, like here I have two stripes and a solid, or you could have two solids and stripes, but you don't want to have three stripes on the on the corner on the uh, ends. And if you notice the balls are are kind of mixed up, you know they don't have to be like a alternating stripe solid, stripe solid, and everything. Just try to mix the balls up. You don't want to have all the stripes over here, or all the solids on this side. Just kind of mix the balls up. And that's that's why you want to rack the balls for eight ball. The break in eight ball, uh, the way I like to break, and a lot of professionals, is about a quarter of the way over. And what I want to do when I'm breaking is, is hit the head ball, try to really scatter the balls on break, scatter the balls out really good and make a ball on break. And if I make a ball on break and scatter the balls, I'm going to run out probably eight out of ten times, maybe nine out of ten, you know. So that's the whole idea is break the balls and leave the key ball down in this area. Sometimes it gets kissed up here, but you don't want to scratch on break. You just want to break the balls hard, scatter the balls, and just hope that the ball goes. Okay. Now here, if you notice, I scatter the balls really well. And if I was playing a professional here, he would he would have a little bit of trouble running out because the one and eleven is tied up down here, you know. So this is not an easy run out. If I made a ball on break, the same thing. I would have a tough time to run out here. Uh, where I could make if I made a, a, a solid ball, I could make the four and break out the one and, and the eleven. So this was a possible run. But notice how the balls are really scattered, and that's what you want to do on the break. That's what a professional run out player wants to do. Uh, we'll show you another break, an eight ball. Okay, so make sure the balls are frozen. Really good. Okay, now a lot of people ask me, what's the best way to make the eight ball on break? Now, some leagues, uh, most leagues, if you make the eight ball on break, you win the game. Some leagues, you don't. You just respot it, or you can have your opponent to break again. There's different rules. And eight ball has many different rules. You know. Okay, but uh, there's a ball, there's a break where that you want to break to get the best action on the eight ball. Now, to make the eight ball and break is very, very difficult. But to get the best action on the eight ball is to break in to this ball here, the second ball. And you're allowed to do that. You don't have to hit the head ball. You can hit any ball playing an eight ball on the break. So what I'd want to do is shoot into this ball here, kind of draw the cue ball over here. And the big thing, you don't want to, if you hit off to the side here a little bit, you can jump the table. So you got to hit straight into this ball and with, with draw. And uh, you don't want to elevate the cue. That causes the ball to jump, too. So I want to hit into this side here. And lots of times, the ball goes back, kicks back, and hits the eight. And this is a big table. This is a four and a half and nine table. So uh, on, a four, on a smaller table, you, got, you actually get better action. But let's see what happens here. I don't like this break. I like to try to just scatter the ball. Let's see what happens. Second ball break. See, it's moving up towards the side here. So I got I got the eight ball rolling, you know. Now, cue ball ended up here. If I made the ball on break, I would have been, well, I'd have had the six ball. But I don't like this break because if you notice, look, all the balls are over here. Sometimes when you shoot that side break, like you have a lot of balls that end up on the rail. So if you make a ball on break, it's more difficult to run the table. I like the other break better because it scattered the balls out a lot better, you know, as a pro. You know, and most professionals, that's, they just want to make one ball on break. And that's, and, you know, a top professional is going to run out more times than he doesn't if he makes a ball on break. But they're scattering, but nothing's going. But that's okay. See there? If I made a ball on break there? No. I mean, he's one-handed. 